Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we'll be teaching you how to install Geyser. This can come in useful if you have friends that are both on Bedrock and Java, and they all want to play in one community. We would like to briefly inform you, however, with Geyser, you can expect small increases on your resources. So just be aware before fully installing it into your service. To fully do this, what you will need to do is go into Geyser's website, which we shall put in the description down below. And here, we're both going to download Floodgate and Geyser itself. So for that, you can open up both pages. So in standalone servers, you can either have paper or spigot installed. We really recommend paper. And all you have to do is click geyser spigot, which will work on paper just the same way. And the same process goes for floodgates. So we'll just click download here. And here we can choose either Bungie or spigot, which is the same for paper. Or in case you're using Perper as well. While both are downloading, we can go ahead into File Manager, and here we'll go into Plugins, and upload both of the plugins right into the folder. Now that both have been uploaded, you can go ahead and click Stop, or if your server has already been offline, you can just go ahead and click Start, and let it generate all the necessary files. Once it's done that, we will have to get some additional information, such as going into the Network tab, and here we can create a new allocation. In this case, we will need it for the Geyser port, and we're just going to copy this 8167, which is our secondary port instead of our primary. We will not touch our primary at all. And then we'll go back into the plugins folder and we'll go into geyser spigot. Here we'll go into the config.yml and just change our port as followed. In here, you can also change the server name, the MLTD, and anything that will show in between. And then in the remote tab, all you have to do is scroll down to off type and we're going to change from online to floodgate. After that, you can go ahead and click save content and then just restart your server and start it back up. And as you can see, Geyser has loaded up on 8167. In order for them to actually join your server, you will be providing them the primary IP with your new secondary ports for them to join. In the case of this server, it's as pretty simple as 192.99.157.92 with the secondary port that we created, which would be 8167. So just provide this port and IP directly to your Bedrock players and they can join your server that easily. Hopefully this was informative. And if you'd like to see any other tutorial, please let us know in the comments below. Other than that, we hope you have an amazing day and thank you for choosing Revive Node.